You are watching a free lesson from UI design in Photoshop course. See the description below to know more about this course or watch till the end of this video. Today I am going to give you the biggest secret of Photoshop and UI design and which is Photoshop extensions, okay? Now a lot of UI designers they don't really rely fully on just the Photoshop capabilities but they extend their Photoshop capabilities by using photoshop extensions and script okay today we are going to talk about photoshop extensions now there are many many hundreds of photoshop extensions uh, but i'm going to show you few of them that really help in ui design and really speed up our workflow and we cannot live without them okay there are few which are very good and free photoshop extensions then we have premium extensions I have purchased a lot like maybe around 10 different Photoshop premium extensions and I will show you both of them. It's up to you whether you are going to purchase it or not. Now let's first see some of the free Photoshop extensions. Now first, the first one I am going to show you is this Photoshop extension which is basically random user generator. It is based on this website engineRandomUser.me and uh, for right now in photoshop's latest version cc 2017 it is not working i have posted the author of this uh, plugin the problem that it is not working i don't know when they are going to update it but this is the problem with free extensions okay so they are not basically managed too well okay now its alternative is this one uber faces and i also have this one too it is just five dollars it is basically premium and it also is based on random user generator website or engine but it has some more capabilities you can read about it over here uberplugins.cc and what it actually does is i am going to show you the power of these plugins and extensions in the next lesson okay so i will show you some of the plugins i am using and how they can be helpful in ui design then we have this font awesome ps that can easily bring any kind of icon into photoshop okay so you can see over here you need to download it from here and it is available for mac and windows both of them okay now few more this is called gridify this is another photoshop panel and it is really cool really, really cool extension it can really draw different guides and uh, grids to you know quickly and very swiftly so this is one of them this is also free then we have oven this is basically to export photoshop assets into different sizes this is also one of them i sometimes use uh, even though photoshop's latest version has its own export engine so we don't need this much but you can look at it then we have this ink to generate different specifications when we deliver our web de web design files or our mobile app design files to the developers they need to know the sizes okay so the height and the width which element is which has the size or uh, what size this element has okay so this is basically the plugin this is going to help and this is basically free plugin another one i use is this markly it is very marvelous very easy to use and a lot of firms like microsoft disney lenovo they are using it i am i am also using it i am one of them it's basically a premium plugin and it's 50 dollars right now okay so these are two for generating specifications for web development and hand it over to developers okay then this is also a free one fontia it manages all the google fonts and it can have a lot of capabilities i haven't used it yet but I think you can try it, okay? It have all the Google fonts in it and it can easily manage and you can apply different fonts on text easily. Then this one, Craft, it has many, you can say, different functionalities. It's a plugin with uh, like four or five different subsections and it is really great, but it just works on Mac, okay? So this is a bit a drawback. It just works for Mac. If you have Photoshop and Mac, then you are in luck. You can use it. Okay. Then we have the another one, which is also for creating guides. And this is a premium plugin. I really love it. If you can buy it for $10, I think you should buy it. And this is uh, one of the best I have seen for uh, using guides and grids and creating grids. Okay. 
then this one is color kit and it is basically to you manage colors in photoshop linked to different layers and uh, photoshop design elements for example if you want to change the color of two or three elements at the same time you can do it with this okay so you can check it out i will uh, give the links to all these plugins so don't worry about it then we are moving to another great site which have a lot of premium plugins and i have bought a lot from them okay so one is css had to i really recommend this if you are a front end developer you are a coder you can code in html you really need this okay then i also have this png express then i already have this guide guide and this prospective mock up a lot of them i am not using right now social kit pro is also one of them it can create social graphics like facebook uh, avatars and different sizes and social media Uh, templates easily within photoshop in just few clicks then this is color kit i already have this font here S subtle patterns it can get a lot of great subtle patterns very light patterns into photoshop with just one click and okay so these are a lot of different plugins you can all try them out if you have if you are an ios developer or you design for ios and uh, apple a lot you need this plugin then we have uber faces uh uber columns uber flames okay so there are tons of different photoshop plugins you can try them out and uh, you can buy them if you want then there is a last resource i want to share with you is this pspanels.com and it has a lot of plugins each day it is updated if you want to stay up to date you can email subscribe over here it's it's not my website okay so it shows a lot of different Uh, photoshop plugins panels uh, even some of them work with adobe adobe illustrator and a uh, few of them are free like you can see over here so these are really great you can try them out i'm going to share the links with all these plugins and extensions into uh, the resources of this lecture so do check them out now in the next lecture we are going i am going to show you the power of all these plugins in action so let's move on to the next lesson you have just watched one lesson from my udemy course and uh, let me show you what i am going to teach you in that course it has more than 100 lectures and 9 hours of video on ui design if you really want to be a ui designer you should be considering to take this course Here are few examples we are going to cover photoshop settings and preferences for ui design then we are going to cover all the basics like shadowing uh, light and uh, how to design different uh, uh, drop shadows like soft shadows inner shadows and layer effects then we are going to create a lot of awesome exercises you are going to see right now header designs mobile apps dashboard design so all these exercises we are going to cover in this course So don't waste time grab this course you are not going to find tutorials on each topic i have covered in this course for all my youtube viewers it is just dollar 10 so grab it while it is only just dollar 10 so let's see you in that course